change is afoot on Facebook's California campus. The social media giant has made a modification that may go unnoticed for most of the 159 million American users. Facebook wants to allow people to be able to express their genuine, authentic selves on the site, and we want them to express their whole selves. For the first time ever, users aren't limited to identifying themselves as male or female. For the first time, I get to go to the site and I get to specify to all the people that I know what my gender is, and I can let only the people that I want to know see that. Software engineer Brielle Harrison worked on the project. She's also undergoing gender transformation from male to female. It's the best way for us to be able to express ourselves and to let people know who we really are. There are actually about 50 options, including androgynous, intersex, and gender fluid. The transgender community has been um, having a lot of progress in regards to inclusiveness and to being um, accepted in society at large. And this is a very good way to do it. It's a step forward that came after years of lobbying from Facebook members. It also follows changes made by other sites, including Flickr and Google+. Just having it as an option um, says a lot to their openness and inclusiveness with the people who use their, um, their website. But even that openness has a limit. All users can manage whether others can see their gender identity on Facebook. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.